What's new at Charlie's? What's new at Charlie's? Still on Main. What's new at Charlie's? Tell me what's new at Charlie's? Still on Main. Hi, welcome back to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, today we're going to be opening up a bottle of Russell Reserves 13. I've been trying to get this bottle for the last year, and one finally showed up today. Uh, I think you all know my good friend, Mr. Don Williams of Bourbon Fool. Don, what do you think, man? I think it's a good thing you got that bottle, because I'm not sure you're going to see another one. I think you might be right on that one. So, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, a while ago we tasted the Wild Turkey Master Keep 1, which to this day is my favorite whiskey we've done this year. So that makes me more excited to open this bottle because uh, it's by the same guys. It's uh, Jimmy and Eddie. Yeah, and you know, Russell's Reserve, the, the normal off the shelf Russell's Reserve is one of my go-to brands. Uh, to me, it's an affordable product that is a high quality product. Yeah. I'm really anxious to try this one because this one is uh, barrel barrel strength for the most part. Yeah. Uh, and it is, you know, aged to perfection. And what I found out about the Russells is they're very particular about what they put their name on. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I think it's going to be awesome. Yes, absolutely. Well, you've always been a big Wild Turkey Jimmy Russell fan, right? I, I have. I, I met Jimmy, and uh, he's a great Kentucky gentleman. He is, you know, they call him the master distiller's master distiller. You know, he is... Uh, someone who's been around for a long time, and he promoted Kentucky whiskey and bourbon before it was popular. You know, oh, yeah. he, he was out there doing it, and uh, his son Eddie is now the master distiller. And between the two of them, uh, this is you know a tribute to the family legacy. Sure, man. Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to uh, meet him. He's never been there when I was there, but their fa their facility is fantastic. It is the drive into there is uh, if you haven't been there before, it it'll uh, it'll, it'll take your breath away. Yeah, you get you got to go over to the hill. It's Wild Turkey Hill, and you need to look down on the Kentucky River. It's it's pretty magnificent location. It and hold really your is. breath and hope you make it that bridge holds as you get across it. And yeah. wow, it's really cool. But uh, what do we know about this whiskey, Don? Well, so it's you know, 13 it, years old, I'm guessing. Yeah, and it's 114.8 oh, proof. Yeah. Uh, so you know it is you know not for the fainted heart for right. sure. Right. Sure. Uh, you know. Russell's Reserve dates back to about 1998. They made the first batch, and then, you know, they, they experimented with it and in 2005 kind of dropped it down to the current 90 proof mm -hmm. for the off-the-shelf off product. Right. Uh, and then in 2018, they issued one of these that was 17 years old. Wow. Uh, so, you know, they know what they're doing, and, and I have a feeling, uh, I really think the Russells are really good at picking honey barrels. Yeah. Uh, so I think that this is special product. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't give me the 13. They sure didn't give me a 17 here. So yeah. Yeah. I guess Charlie's wasn't here back then, so we use that as an excuse. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I've never even seen that bottle before. Um, but this 13 is uh, now Russell's are kind of known for being a little harsh, a little strong. They've got some kick to them, right? And well, you know, at 115 proof, I'm going to guess this one's going to give you a good hug. Yeah. Jimmy always talked about the Kentucky hug, so. Uh, and wild turkeys always, you know, had that spice. So. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So, well, let's crack her open and see what we got here, Don. Yeah. The I, color on this thing is fantastic, if you can. It really is. Yeah. At 13 uh, years is a great, I mean, you know, the perfect age for me. What I love about uh, wild turkey is it was actually a, a brand as far back as the 1940s. Yeah. But literally back then when uh, Jimmy Russell first joined the distillery, it was called the JTS Brown Distillery. Oh, I remember that. You yeah. Know, it, it didn't become wild turkey till way down the road a little bit. And uh, I think that the fact that Eddie or Jimmy's been there all that time and then Eddie's been there since 1981 uh, I think it's a great family legacy. Oh, it absolutely, really man. I mean, you can't think of Wild Turkey without thinking of Russell's. I mean. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's got a hug. So, the, the Wild Turkey spice is there. Oh, but yeah. But it's got a... A sweetness to it mm -hmm. and 
the sweetness kind of lures you in and then the spice kind of hits you on the back end. Yeah, or punches you right in the face. So, it, it, actually, it's got kind of a creamy mouthfeel, um, kind of a syrupy taste, but not overly sweet. It's really balanced well with the rye. Absolutely. Um, all in all, if you're uh, a wild turkey fan or if you are a full proof type fan, you're going to want to try this bottle for sure. And unfortunately, I'm not sure too many of these are going to be out in the marketplace, so you're gonna have to go to your favorite tavern or pub like Charlie's, and you're gonna to wanna to try this. Absolutely, yeah. No, it's uh, it's a one and done product as far as I know. I have not been able to find another bottle and uh, was lucky to get this one. So, um, it, something I was excited about, it's very good. It, it is a little hot, uh, but if you do like foolproof bourbons, you're gonna absolutely love it, because once you get past that heat, there's a ton of flavor there. It is, uh, it's really a nice drink. Yeah. And uh, uh, Jimmy Netty, another great hit. And uh, this, by the way, in 2021, this was American Whiskey of the Year. Wow. Uh, and, you know, basically uh, rated higher than Old Forester Birthday Bourbon or uh, higher than Eagle Rare 17. That's pretty strong company. That's pretty good company. Absolutely. So, yeah, I can definitely see that. Charlie, thanks for bringing this out. Absolutely. Cheers, buddy. Thanks Cheers. for uh, coming in and uh, come in and give it a try at Charlie's. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. What's new at Charlie's still on main? What's new at Charlie's? Tell me what's new at Charlie's.